says hi. Yeah. Bonjour Paris. So imagine we're a world where managing your state and reactivity in your web application is not just simpler, but profoundly more intuitive. So today we're going to explore the magic of signals a revolutionary concept that's taking the modern frameworks by storm. So as the landscape of uh, web development evolves, so that's the complexity of managing our state and reactivity in our applications, right? So now let's explore how signals can simplify this complexity, enhance our performance, and improve our developer experience. But to understand the power of signals, let's take a brief journey back in time and the evolution of reactivity. So the early JavaScript frameworks like Knockout.js uh, introduced observables and a two-way data binding system, uh, two-way data binding that paved the way for the reactive programming. So in the early 2010s, it was one of the first to introduce uh, this reactive approach with its MVVM architecture and observables. So suddenly, our data could drive our UI updates, but it was just the beginning. So we knock out, so any changes that uh, the, na the name observable would automatically update the UI, which is a revolutionary idea at the time. And then AngularJS followed suit with its own two-way data binding, so synchronizing the model and the view. So this innovation set the stage for the sophisticated reactivity that we see today. So React, for example, with its virtual DOM um, and declarative approach uh, transformed our understanding of building user interfaces. So, and then the introduction of hooks as further streamlined the reactive programming, ensuring components react intelli intelligently to state and context changes. And then fast forward to today, frameworks like SolidJS, Svelte, and Vue and the like are leading the charge in signals. So this is a fundamental building block of reactivity. But what exactly are signals and why are they so powerful? So in SolidJS, a signal is a simple way to create a reactive state. So think of it as a special kind of a variable that automatically updates any part of the application that depends on it. So for example, in this, uh, in this example, we have create signals is used to create a reactive state variable. So when the name signal changes, the input and the paragraph tag automatically update, ensuring our UI is always in sync with our state. Svelte, on the other hand, takes a slightly different approach. So it compiles reactive code at build time, so making reactivity inherent and highly performant. So here in Svelte, the bind value directive creates a reactive binding. So when the name variable changes, the UI updates immediately, just like SolidJS signals. So this compiled reactivity minimizes runtime overhead and enhances performance. So and Vue.js added this intuitive uh, reactivity system, so making state management and data binding as simple as breathing. Well, signal simplifies state management, but making it more intuitive and predictable. So instead of dealing with complex state management libraries or intricate data, data flows, signals allow us to focus on what matters most, applications logic and user experience. So moreover, signals enhance performance. So by updating only the parts of the DOM that need to change, they minimize unnecessary re-renders and optimize resource usage. So this efficiency is crucial in building responsive and fast web applications. Yes, as developers, we crave tools that not only make our lives easier, but also empower us to build better and faster applications, right? So signals do just that. They offer a straightforward and declarative approach to state management, reducing our boilerplate, uh, boilerplate code and making our code bases more maintainable. So as we look ahead, potential for attractivity is, I would say, boundless. 
with emerging technologies like WebAssembly, server-side components, we're poised to create even more sophisticated and responsive applications. So reactivity will not be about the user interface, but will permit all aspects of our application development. So I urge you to explore signals, so it embraces evolution in reactivity. I'm over time, so let's build a future web development together where applications are dynamic and responsive as a world that we live in. Mille merci, Perry, and let's continue to push and innovate what's the boundaries of what's possible in web applications. Thank you. Thank you.